Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to test all the endpoints and postmen that we did in the previous episode. Now we did store, update and delete. But before I do that, I just want to make a couple of changes. Now the first change is in the validation of the store method. This for the title, just set the unique title to basically just add the title at the end right here. Be sure not to add any spaces because if you add a space right there, it's counted as a character. Okay, so just delete this. Just make sure you add a title right there. Let's move on to the next one. Now, this is the title for the update. Now, the title right here, this is going to be sometimes be available. I'm not going to, because let's say the person just wants to update the body. I just want to make sure that if just set it to sometimes. Now the rule unique, I just, I forgot to add at the end here, just to ignore the title like that. Okay, so that, so what we want to ignore, we want to ignore this title and the column must be the title right there. Okay, so let's say the person just wants to update the body, they can do that, but this right here is sometimes available. Okay, so that's all good. The next thing is, this is totally wrong. This must just be a JSON. Okay, so I'm supposed to stick with the JSON and just make sure you set it to null and return a 204, 204 status code of saying no content. All right, so this is all good and that's all done. So the last part that I want to also mention right here, just make sure I just added the title in the slug. Just make sure you add the body in there as well if you want to return. I think it's good. Right, so that's it. Let's move on to Postman where we can actually just test these endpoints. All right, in order to add a new request, we could pick the one endpoint is the index where we get all the articles. As you can see, it works. The show right here, as you can see, we get a single article. Now, what I want to do now, you can add another endpoint, another request. Let me actually just close this off. Right here, you can add the request by right clicking on the collection. Or you can click on the three dots, hover over the collection and the three dots right there. And you can just say add a request. Now this one is going to be responsible for actually the store when we actually create an article. So I just want to say create article. And this is just going to reference the store method. Just put it in here, store. Like that. And this is going to be a post request and it's going to go to the full URL. Now the full URL, if I just hover over that, as you can see, it goes to the badger.test API v1. Okay, so let's go to that and we're just going to go to the articles right there. So let me just save that. As you can see, it saved it in the post. Now for the headers right here, I'm just going to do accept it in JSON format. So application JSON, just make sure you set that as such. Now for the body, now this is actually where we're going to, let's say we use next year is it's from here that we're going to send basically the data to the server. Now in this case, what I want to do is I want to send the title so we can set the title to anything. Now in this case, let me leave it blank because I just want to check if the validation works. Okay. And we just do the body. Now the body, I'm just going to say this is new. Body. Okay. Just in all caps and the author ID and just put it in here as well. So author. ID and just set it to one. All right, let's quickly click this. Let's click, click send. As you can see, the title field is required. So we know the validation works quite nice. All right, so let's quickly create a new title. This uh, is a new title. 22. Okay, so let's just press send. So the title character must not be greater than 20. So let's just make it less. So we know the validation works. So as you can see, we receive our new article. As you can see, a 201 response saying the article is uh, basically its content is created. So as you can see, we got all the information right there. Now that's the one part. Let's quickly save that. Let's move on to our next endpoint. Now this one is going to be responsible for the update. So you can either right click on the collection or we can click on the dots and add a request. Now this one is basically for update article and this is going to go to the update method and this is going to be a put okay so we're just going to go to the app 
full URL again. So let me just go in there, forward slash articles. Now in this case, I'm looking for 23. So let's just go to 23. In the headers, I just want to accept it as JSON. All right, so let me just save that. Now for the body part right here, let's quickly see if we don't add any title. So let's just make the title blank for now. And let's do the body. Okay, so the body, I just want to make sure Let's see if it works. Let's just press send. We need to get validation. The body field is required. Okay, so new updated body. So let's press send. So as you can see, the title cannot be null. All right, so let me just minimize that and just try again. Let me add a title quickly in here. New, let's see what's happening. Updated title. All right, so, all right, so let's quickly just add the S right there. As you can see, it updates it, and let me just change it back to body. Updates it as well. All right, so let's quickly add another one. The last one, this one right here, is going to be responsible for the delete. So let me just go delete article. I'm just going to send this to delete method. like this and this is going to have a delete verb for http verb and this is going to go to the full url again forward slash articles and i'm looking for the 23 right there so let me just save that under the headers i'm just going to do accept in application json all right click, click send all right so as you can see we get a 204 no content response meaning it deleted so if we go to the index again just going to the bottom as you can see we see 22 but we don't find 23 so let's quickly delete 22 so let's just go in there and delete 22 and send as you can see no content so let's go to the index let's press send again let's go to the bottom and see if we find 22 as you can see 22 is deleted right there All right so everything works everything is lovely and that's it that's an end of this episode, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. And what we're going to go forward right now, we're just going to work with Sanctum because for the middleware and the tokens. All right, so see you guys there. Adios.